Hey Jeremy here, today we have another Illustrator tutorial for you guys and well, today we're going to be learning about the Shape Builder tool. So firstly, the Shape Builder tool is a tool that allows you to combine and create shapes really fast and easy and I think it's a really great tool. First off, we'll create two ellipses, press L for the shortcut and holding Shift and Alt. We'll create a shape and just hold Alt and click and drag to create the second one. So first off, we'll um, click and drag and highlight these two shapes. And the shortcut for the Shape Builder tool is Shift M. As you can see, your mouse changes and Illustrator recognizes each path as a separate shape. So what I can do, as you can see these little dots, if I just click on the, the shape, it will actually create a separate shape. So now, as I can drag them off, it's they're both they're all separate shapes. So I can change the colors, I can move them around, and it's its own shape. Just like that, quick and easy. To select multiple shapes, if you want, what you can do is select the shapes again, Shift M, and if you click and drag and hold Shift, um, everything that is selected within that, that box or that boundary will actually combine all those shapes within that box. So if I let go, it's just combined all these three circles, and now I have one shape, just like that. What else you can do with the Shape Builder tool is actually you can minus shapes. So we'll just again create um, a few more circles <coughs> over the top of each other, make it a bit smaller. So what I can do now is that when I, I select the shapes, um, Shift M for the shortcut. And as you can see, if I hold Alt or Option on a Mac, um, a little minus sign comes up on the next to the mouse. This means that the Shape Builder tool is active and if I click, it's actually going to minus the shape. So as you can see, this middle section bit is selected. If I, I'll zoom in a bit more, but if I click now, it's actually minus that shape. So what it's actually done is actually created two shapes from minusing them together, which is pretty awesome. You can use it with any shapes. You can combine squares. You can combine some triangles together. But you just got to make sure you're always selecting the shapes and then make sure the shape is active. And you can also click and drag. And as you see, it'll create this line. So it'll create, it'll combine the shapes that are within that line. I'll show you again. So if I just create a circle like this, select them all, shift them. And so you can drag a path and it will, it will combine all the shapes within that path. The shapes just have to be next to each other to combine those shapes or it won't work. So yeah, that's it guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and um, I'll catch you in the next video.